Good morning, everyone. Deb and Tattoo here from Fairport, New York, with our 2021 and 2021 dedication for today. Happy Friday! So I hope everyone is going to have an awesome weekend and had a wonderful week. Check out that sunrise, guys. This is Fairport, New York, near Rochester, in the middle of February. Not too shabby. So um, today's dedication goes out to some generations. My friend Pam um, shared a story with me that really, I looked at a little deeper and I really pulled some good stuff out that I hope she's okay that I share it in this way. So Pam is around my age, I'm 52, and she shared with me that both her aunt and her grandmother have fought and were warriors that survived breast cancer. And that is um, something, obviously, I feel like we hear so many stories about. Um, hang on, there's my reader. We hear so many stories about um, breast cancer and how it's affected lives of the family members, how women have gone on to beat it. Um, and Pam's, Pam's aunt and grandmother did. 20 years now, it's 2021, when she was 92, Pam lost her grandmother. Wasn't to cancer, but what an amazing, amazing experience to have seen somebody. Imagine as a child, your whole life, go through a battle like that and go on to live to be 92. The perseverance in that is just, I think, something that we all know, need to understand that post-cancer life... Um, it's thrilling. It is. And it's the longevity that can be after it is something you need to embrace. So where that takes me to is what Pam said was that her aunt has always advocated self-care. And Pam, I think forever, I've known her to always lean towards the self-care side. And she has certainly been dealt some things, as we all have, that we need to figure out. But at every turn, she adopts that spirit of her grandmother and her aunt to say, thank you, but no thanks. I'm beating me here. I got this. And she goes and she figures it out. But where I come up with the generational thing, there have been two times that I was sitting with Pam in her office and we share stories about our children. Now her daughter is older than Hayden and Jacob. And so I had the opportunity to sit and listen to her a couple times about um, when she spoke with her daughter, just helping her be an independent and strong woman. And she, on one of the occasions we were sitting there and her daughter was making some decisions about her schedule and having balance and making sure she could take care of it. And one of the things is she said that she told her, you have to be able to take care of yourself. I know you want to do all these things, but at the end of the day, make sure that you take care of yourself and you're not beating yourself into the ground that's going to make you sick. And guys, I know that this is not the message that she delivered to her daughter. Don't get cancer. But what it is, is Pam has taken those two stories and she has said, we're not going to be subscribed to the fact that cancer is in our family or cancer is every woman's reality. We're going to flip it and we're going to take all the lessons that our family has taught us and we are going to use that to our advantage and we're going to make this generation say thank you to the last one. Thank you for doing all of that for us, for going through those battles for us and we are going to honor that and we are going to work so hard to try and position ourselves to not have that in our lives. And man, that's flipping it. There's one thing to say, yep, we've had it, and to, to feel sadness and to feel the loss, but to honor that experience that someone went through that said, thank you for showing me that. Thank you for carrying the weight of that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say thank you to you, to say I'm going to learn that lesson from you and uh, try and minimize it. So I kind of feel like, I hope I'm teaching my kids that. I don't know that I've ever said it that straight up. So Pam, I'm going to. But uh, 
Thank you for teaching us that you can flip generational cancer on its ass and you could say, thank you. We're not going to sit here and wait for it. We're going to um, work to kick cancer's ass because, right, that's what we're doing. So thank you, Pam. I love you so much. And that was a little bit of a long story. I hope everyone listens. Bye-bye.